morning everybody this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for today the date is the 25th of June and these are the cards for today that I've pulled one for in the morning afternoon and perhaps the evening or take your pick whatever you would like to take from this reading the first card that we have today is um, the time master well time is man made so what does the time master mean you've also got number 57 7 and 5 is 12 and 1 and 2 is 3 so it means being creative perhaps being creative with your time be the master of your time are you chaotic don't you have enough time or do you have enough time because you are organized and he's a wise old man and he's got the infinity symbol on his chest and it should be like that the infinity symbol but I take it as a number eight so it might be a special message to you today number eight it might be your number today perhaps your life number is number eight number eight means you're in your power take your power back if you aren't stand in your strength this is the house of power and money now let's see what Colette Baron Reed says because these cards are by Colin Baron Reed the time is con is a constructed of human mind through which life events are seen to flow in the straight line from past to future this however is an illusion time moves in patterns fractals sometimes turning like a wheel and others moving straight as an arrow humans see like a ticking clock and this image reminds us that there is only so much of it to spend in life like a kind of currency at any given moment you can see time in all its infinite potential at once fast and all in compass compassing then shrunken and infinite it all depends on your perspective when the time master visits he asks a most important question will you break free from a limited cause and effect thinking by moving beyond the liner illusion and welcoming the cycle quality of time you find yourself in a moment when the wheel of time turns and you are able to influence the past thus changing the present and future simultaneously this is the true test of time master you are being invited to take back your power what did I say so let go of the past and choose to step into your life into your power that's what I said into your strength in this moment you are powerful you are the time master anything is possible so take your time where you need to take your time be creative about it or perhaps you have to meet deadlines so take your time to focus on what you have to do exclude everything else you're the time maker you're the time master you decide what you want to do have you learned from the past so you can create your own freedom or your own prison by deciding what time it is you want to be in and what you have to do okay well that is a very beautiful card then we have the circle and the circle is number eight and num the circle means coming to an end perhaps something is coming full circle and there will be a new phase starting and perhaps you have to finish something off with help from others so you can bring it to an end 
many hands make light work. That is what I'm hearing when I see this card. Perhaps you need help again, a number eight. You've got the infinity symbol there, so eight is quite important today. Okay, perhaps um, you've had help and you've brought something to an end and you are start, uh, starting a new phase in your life. You're creating your new phase. I also, in the circle, you see a circle and I take that as an atlas. An atlas meaning the world. It could also be the sun. It all depends who is looking at the picture. It's like going to a museum and everybody interprets a piece of art or a picture in a different way. Okay, that's the second card. Unification, interconnectedness and a sense of continuum. <coughs> Sorry, is what this card implies. The circle reminds us we are all one. Dancers in unified, continuous, inclusive the circle. This card reminds us of the cycles of life and the evolving ones, ever changing and always connected. Human, spirit, nature, the cosmos, all intricately connected. And also what I'm getting is the world is your oyster. Okay, um, when um <coughs> the circle appears, it reminds you that you are connected to everything and everyone, including to you, spirit. Spirit's essence beats in your heart and inspires you to go create your world, knowing that you connect, that you have purpose in this world. Imagine, even a smile to a stranger can change the course of a life. When the circle invites you to dance in the sacred steps of life, know that your work, your love, your service brings greater value than you can know or imagine. Stay the course, keep dancing and all will be well. The world is your oyster. You might, if by just smiling or saying hello, good morning to somebody, you might make somebody's day today. And you might feel make somebody feel complete. Or somebody might be doing it to you. Then we have standstill. And I thought that was quite amazing. Time can feel as if it stands still, but time keeps on turning. Like I always say, time is man-made. Now we've got a window here, or we've got a porthole, whatever your interpretation is of your picture. Let your imagination run wild. Perhaps you are taking time out, pausing from work, to step into a new porthole, a new beginning. We had the finish here and a new beginning, and this is a new beginning. 52, 7, 7 is good luck, 7 is taking action, 7 is defending yourself, perhaps dreaming, the sun is rising to a new beginning or the sun is setting to an old face, again coming full circle, okay, see what you see in each card. When standstill appears, it is a symbol of pausing, the act of observation and breathing space. It represents the benefits of temporary non-action as well as what happens when one is stuck. When uh, the invitation or the message, when things seem to st stall and stagnate or when you feel stuck, this symbol appears as a reminder to constant action. It's going to get you where you want to go. Perhaps it's time to gather more information or just wait until the universe makes the next move. No matter what, this moment is a beautiful gift 
orchestrated in your favor. Enjoy it. Let the universe bring all the parts together for the highest good. Go and play, recharge and take the focus of whatever has stalled. Life will get busy again for you sooner than you think. So in, let's see the message if we take all three of them. You are the time master. You have your life, your time, your health, your being. You are the master of that and you can take your time. You can come into action, whatever you need to do. You decide to stay. You make decisions and choices. You stay in your power. See what it relates to, whether it relates to your private life or whether it relates to your working life or your life of hobbies. Perhaps it now is time for a hobby to become your life's work. That could be for a lot of you. Or perhaps a sideline of your life. How are you going to share your time so that you don't get out of balance because you are in balance. You've got an 8 here and an 8 here so the angels are with you. And 57 like I said is a 12. A 1 and a 2 is create creation. So create your time. Make your choice and decisions. Make plans wisely. Something is coming to a full circle and you know where there is an end. There is a beginning. The world is your oyster. You can choose again. You can choose something. To take your time to go on to the next job or to get a next job or the next project. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you. Is this is a message for you to ask for help when you need help when you haven't got the time. Delegate. And here it is also taking time out in the right time to take time out to take your rest meditate contemplate and evaluate by evaluating you can see the bigger picture where to do what and at what time perhaps you might have to do something at the rising of the sun or setting of the sun number seven 52 so again luck is on your side. It looks like a good day for whether you choose one card or two card or all three cards. So make sure you delegate, make time for yourself if need to, uh, definitely so that you can see the overall picture, a contemplate and evaluate and perhaps take some time out and rest for yourself to rejuvenate. And I said hobby. Yes, you can, might be doing something new and you might want to make a hobby into a career. But make sure that you also have an other hobby um, if you are going to make one hobby into a career. So that when you get busy and you are actually active, that you are taking rest but also rejuvenate whilst you are going out to play. Right, I hope you've enjoyed today's reading. Sorry I didn't give you a daily yesterday but I was busy with the weeklies for next week because I also have to do the romance, monthly romance readings. So I will be busy for a couple of days. So take care, have a wonderful day and I'll s see you soon. Have a great day, love you. Please like and share and give us the thumbs up. Thank you.